Hello, so we are back Wednesday and we have a laptop to fix. This is a Lenovo i5 10 generation IdeaPad S340. Okay, so this was booked in. Motherboard fault, check, charger gets, gets hot. Okay, so I plug the charger in. But it's not light like the okay. Okay, maybe this is not the charger. Sorry, that's the charger. So I checked it wrong. But anyway, it's not coming on. <clears throat> it's my fault. I didn't I didn't test it properly, but we'll test now, yeah. So let's see. Twenty volts. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Computer is not is unresponsible, not power up or completely fired. Uh, not sure. Gaming. A Lenovo i7 9 gen. Hmm. Let's plug a charger in and test. Yeah, we have a customer with this laptop. Well, let's test it quickly. Let me find the right charger. It's nothing is dead. Okay, give me one second just to explain to the customer that the laptop is dead, yeah. Okay. So let's try to test it properly. Yeah? So we need 20 volts. Ground plus. And it's taking 180 milliamps. I have the orange light. I have the orange light, power on, and it's going to one amp. Nine hundred milliamps. And there's no picture on the screen. It's taking only 180 milliamps, 200, 100, 200 milliamps, yeah, which is not enough to charge the battery. But we do have the orange char charging light. Now it's taking only 90 milliamps. So either the battery is full or the battery is dead. Pressing the power button, the current goes up to 900 milliamps. So I suppose the laptop is coming on, but it's no picture on the screen. Nine hundred milliamps, and there's no picture on the screen. We still have the orange light here. Yeah, I seen the power on light here. So the laptop is coming on, but no picture on the screen. So what do you think about this? Your honest opinion about this fault. We can make a bet. This is a frozen bias, yeah? 
can we bet? Yeah, can be motherboard, can be RAM memory. Uh, uh, 99.99% is a frozen BIOS. Yeah, so let's open quickly. But looks like someone opened this already. Okay, maybe it's not a frozen BIOS. Because looks that the, the screws has been opened before. Well, let's see, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we do have a proper job here. Maybe we have a case. Let's open the back cover. Good. So what we will do to fix this? Looks fine. It's okay. okay. You know what? Forget about frozen bias. This is a, this is a water damage repair. Ah. Uh. It can be exciting. Well, let's see. Let me unplug the BIOS battery. So the water damage, I can't see water damage anywhere apart from the Super I.O. Yeah? So have a look. So how unlucky it can be, yeah? So you see, it's, it's, it's water damage exactly on the Super I.O. Here. I can see a little bit here, but otherwise, look at this motherboard, it's impeachable. It's like nothing, it's like how unlucky you can be to drop like a, a, a tear of water and it's going straight to your super IO. <laughs> Very unlucky. Very unlucky. So let's clean it quickly. I will use some petrol, the Zippo. I don't think it's the point to check the other side of the board because obviously the the water damage comes from here from the back so he, exactly here so I don't think it's point checking on the other side let's concentrate on what we see here let's check now the pins the pins are still fine You can see the tiny bridges between the pins. Yeah, so I will try to focus how much I can. You can see that tiny bridge. So actually, on a water damage job, that's what is. That's why it's not working. I check here. Uh, you can see that bridge. Yeah, that's a bridge made by water damage. So what I will do, I will clean it a little bit more. Now let's dry it with hot air. All good. Wow, still hot. Now let's check the battery because it, why is not charging? Hmm? That's a good question. Let's see what voltage do we have on the battery. On the battery we have on the sc one screen multimeter. We have nothing, zero volts. 
Okay, let's plug back the BIOS battery. Let's plug back the main battery. Let's come with the power supply. 20 volts. The charging port is here. The plus is here. You take the ground from here. It's taking around 200 milliamps. Let's try and charge the battery a little bit. Let's go down to, let's say, 13 volts plus, and the battery is taking 3 amps. You can check on the multimeter. So the battery is good. Like right now, I'm charging the battery with 3 amps. Okay. So the battery is fine. Let's go back to 20 volts. Let's check again. And now, check on the charging, yeah? That's, now it's a different story. Okay. Now it's taking 500 milliamps. Yeah? So it's a little bit a different story. Just, we higher the, the, the battery internal voltage a little bit and it start charging. Okay, let's test. Ground. Seems like the hinge is, has ground there. Plus, on the charging port, I can see the orange light. Where is the power button? Huh? Ah, it's here. Okay, it's here. You see, I didn't power up the laptop. It's one lamp. Uh, one amp. You can see on the screen, one amp. So the battery is charging fine. Pressing the power button and it's taking two amps, which is a good thing. And the laptop is on. We reset the BIOS, so we have to wait a little bit because we reset the BIOS. Lenovo logo. So the laptop is working fine, actually, charging the windows. And we have picture. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? We have the charging sign on the screen and the laptop is working great. And it's holding the charger a little bit. You see this customer have been uh, very unlucky, like he got a drop of water exactly on the on the worst spot ever on the super io that's like rewriting meaning of being unlucky hmm. yeah okay so let's put this back together it's nothing to check more But does Lenovo, when actually they didn't feel like a grill, like to let the air flow, but not the water. No, it's just, you can see the motherboard inside. So I actually, I can see the Super I.O. here. You can see the Super I.O. You see, that's, that's what I mean with a bad design. So, I mean, your Super I.O., it's exposed. <laughs> I mean, how much can cost, like, uh, a material, like a grill, inside, so you keep the water outside. So don't leave the water to go on the, on the motherboard. I mean, I understand the, the, the things, you know, okay, it's a cheap laptop. But how much it will cost you, like a manufacturer, to fit a grill here? A grill made by fabric, yeah, fabric grill, not some expensive thing. Okay. 
right? So I seen people on the channel throwing the guild uh, sorry in. Yeah, but what you can expect is a cheap laptop. I understand that. But again, how much it will cost you, like a manufacturer, to fit a fabric grill behind of this grill, plastic grill? You know, like, it doesn't make sense. Probably it will cost you nothing. Like literally nothing. So either you don't care or you just want this laptop to die on some point. Uh, let's test again. Ground. Plus. Obviously the battery is very low, but that's normal. It's taking 2 amps, so the laptop came on. Yeah, we have the charge inside on the screen, you can see. Power on. We have the Lenovo sign. And it's loading the windows, you can see on the screen. It's taking the right amount of power, it's taking 2 amps. So 1 amp it's used to charge the battery. And the other arm to run the laptop. You have the charging sign. Everything is fine. Okay. So I will say. Uh, pay attention. If you have this kind of laptop. Now you know how to fix it. If you drop some water on it. If you didn't drop water. Trust me. I found a lot of these laptops. With frozen BIOS. You just open the back cover. Unplug the BIOS battery. Unplug the big battery, just leave them like five minutes, then plug them back and should work fine. Okay? So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.